Hello, everyone. This is this is Casey's L.A. Bell. This guitar has some really special woods in it. I'll start with the top. This has uh, Tunnel 14 Redwood, and this came out of a tunnel over here in the Siskiyou Mountains, uh, a railroad tunnel that had been uh, built in the 1860s. I think I've got that date right, 60s or 70s. And they framed it with the available timber, uh, which was redwood, old growth redwood, these huge, enormous beams uh, supporting this hole in the ground. And there it stayed for uh, 140 years or something. There was a fire in the early 2000s, and the railroad decided that they were, you know, it didn't all burn out. It just caught on fire. They put it out, decided to replace the infrastructure with steel, and they, and they pulled all this redwood that had been aging in the basically in these caves um, for forever and this was salvaged from that this wood comes in I mean this is old growth stuff and it's like it's my favorite redwood I've ever used uh, it's incredibly ringy for one thing uh, it's stiff it's almost it's almost like spruce in its uh, dense density to lightness ratio um, and it sounds it. It sounds sprucier than most of the redwood I've used. I'm a big fan of redwood in general. Um, but this, as I said, is my favorite stuff. And it comes either, uh, you know, some of it is very clean and clear like this. Of course, it's quite aged and oxidized looking, but um, just produces this beautiful color. But some of it, I have, I bought quite a few of this, of sets of this stuff. And some of it has uh, mineral stripe, stripes in it from, I imagine, water seepage over the years and train smoke it is really cool stuff think of it being in there all those years just sort of forgotten about and then this potential is there uh the backs are made with honduras uh rosewood and this is stuff i've had i, I bought some boards maybe 10 years ago and uh cut them up into sets and i've been waiting for an opportunity to use this which i have proclaimed before to be among the best wood I have in my shop in the rosewood world. Um, it's sound wise competes with any Brazilian I've ever handled. Um, and the reason I think people shied away from it is this sort of an odd pink color, but I actually really like the color. I think it couples really well with the, um, with the redwood and it's dramatic. The, the uh, beautiful quarter sawn pattern with interlocking grain and the, the wood, you know, tone wise, it just can't be beat. Um, this is bound with Zeracote, and it has an arm bevel, cutaway, obviously. Um, a really cool book-matched piece of Zeracote for the, for the headstock, which gives it kind of a cool, like, the curtains are parting look, and a sound port, and, uh, 
what else can I say about this? The, the sustain, because of this, this beautiful rosewood, the sustain goes on forever. It's just like... Uh... And it's still going. Um, a lot of sustain, a lot of, um, a lot of sophisticated overtones, and uh, a really nice mid-range, which gives it a really good lead voice. Eh? Pleasure to play this guitar. Um, again, it's it's a light build, as per usual. Um, so it really, you can really feel it uh, in your on your chest. The bass notes, which are plentiful. <laughs> sort of crystalline sophistication in the top end to, to strum really beautifully this sort of kumbaya style. So there it is, Casey's Ellie Bell. Um, if these woods interest you, I have quite a bit more redwood and quite a bit more of this beautiful Honduran rosewood. So hit me up if you want one of these. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.